Hey everybody, welcome to Cover Getting TV, where all geek things collide. This week I'm doing my Funko review on another brand that they, another object that they create, which is the keychains. Uh, I'm not really sure why they have different, some of them have different packages, like the spider Gwen here does not have a holy one. Actually, yes I do, she came in a mystery box, that's right, that's where I got her at. But stay tuned for my review. Hey guys, welcome back to Comageddon TV where all geek culture collides. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos. So first up, we have the Suicide Squad movie version of Harley Quinn. These things are, they're, well, they're for keychains, so they are tiny. So I have to kind of bring it in a little bit closer so you can see. They did a good job. They actually just took the re the Funko Pop that they did for the movie and shrank it down. The Artifix head, they do not move at all. And they do not stand up at, on their own at all. But it's got the tattoo on her head right here of Rotten. She's got her ear. But for being a, a micro type of thing, it is really, really cool looking. I wouldn't wear these. I was like, I had my, I had an inverse Deadpool one on my keychain for the longest time, and the screw has a tendency right here to come to come loose, and they will fall off. So now I just have them sitting on my shelves. Next up, we have Unmasked Spider Gwen, which they did a, a really good job with her. It's basically the other Funko, the other one I'm going to be showing you. But without her mast, they did a good job of basically, like I said, they've taken these, the regular Funkos, and shrank them down. As you see, these things are super, super tiny. Next up is the hooded Spider Gwen. And like I said, from the other one, you can tell from the other one that it's just the same body with a different head on it. Which they did a really, I like the different shadings and stuff. This one actually does rotate on her. Her head does turn. Well, that's kind of creepy. So that makes me even more leery about actually putting it on a keychain and carrying it around. But these things are just, they're cool anyway. These two I'm just going to have to do a review on in the box. I've tried opening the boxes up, but, and I do not want to take a chance of ripping them. Mainly because they're, it's the Harley Quinn and Popster, where she is impersonating Batman. And if she was impersonating Batgirl, the little, where the nose is at, would be up into a little triangle where the nose would be. That's how you're able to tell the difference. But it's basically the same as the Popster... Funko that came out, but shrank down. The other one is my Green Goblin Hot Topic exclusive. Which, he's got, I wish I could take him out because he's actually on a glider. There you go, now you can, see, you can somewhat see it in there. That's really cool, but it's just like the Green Goblin that they made that was a Walgreens exclusive. Which, actually, I got him right here so I can pull him down and show you exactly what he's supposed to look like. Yes, and when you unbox them, it's easier if when you unbox your Funkos, if you do it from the bottom and not the top. For some reason, the bottom comes off easier than the top does. Oh, and... Huh, that's odd. The Green Goblin Funko does not come with a glider. He comes with a base. That's weird. So he comes with the base instead of the glider. And he actually he has the pumpkin instead of the glider. Huh. So there are there are differences. And he is super top heavy. Oh my gosh. He actually did a really good job with this with this pop. I like it. Let's put him on the base. So he can stand up. See so he's gotta line the hose up. Look at that. Maybe. 
Oh no, I'm struggling. Who am I to have this problem? Maybe it's backwards. Nope. Look at this, I can't even do this on screen. This is awesome. Make me look like an amateur, guys. Come on, Goblin, quit fighting me. I'm like Spider-Man, I will win. And you will lose. Ah, oh, so close. Yes, folks. The Funko struggle is real. Just get in the hole. Thank you. Aha. Now he stands up. Ta-da. But this is a really cool Funko by itself. It's not the same as this one, but... Because, see, this one actually has the glider. And it makes me kind of mad. I thought this one was, was on the glider. But I guess, I guess the Chase one, he's just shiny. So... I'm not really disappointed now. The one with the oh, that's right. The one the goblin has the glider is um, the Marvel Select, the one that came in the Marvel box that people pre-order, that people order online. He's the one that's on the glider, I believe. I'll get back to you on that. But not about goblin. Let's get back to the keychains. But here they are. These things are underrated. They're really cool. I like them. Like I said, I had my Deadpool inversed X-Men suit, where instead of the blue with the blue with the yellow accents, it was yellow with the with the blue accents. And I lost him somewhere in Springfield while I was at work. But if you like this like this review, make sure to put your comments down below. Hit the like button, subscribe, and be cool.